Hey everyone, I'm following the government's changes on the 19th of July. Here are just a few things that are going to change for us as a church from Sunday the 25th of July and throughout August. We've decided as a leadership team that we're going to take some gradual changes. And so we're going to have one set of changes through August. We're going to review them at the end of August, hoping that we'll get back to more normal somewhere in September. But here's some of the things that are going to change and stay the same throughout August. Number one, we're going to ask you to keep booking in for church during August. This will help us to just keep a list of who's here and it will help us to to keep to those government guidelines that they've given us. If you forget to book, you can still come and you just book in when you get here. Number two is there'll still be a welcome team to help show you to your seats and just to help fill up the building safely and well. Number three, there'll still be um, hand sanitising stations both at the entrances to the building um, and by the toilets for you to use. Number four is we're actually going to add a few extra chairs into the building. Not lots more, we're still going to keep space between the chairs um, and the rows a bit more than we had before Covid. But because social distancing has now been removed and is no longer a requirement, uh, we still want to help people to feel a little bit safer uh, and just get used to being nearer to one another. There'll be no one-way system and people can move around the building a little bit more freely. Number five, like supermarkets and like public transport, we're going to keep wearing masks throughout August. This is the most effective way for stopping the spread of the virus. Number six, is we're going to sing, way, but we're going to sing with masks on, at least throughout August. We're excited to be singing again, and we know that wearing a mask will reduce the risk of spreading COVID as we do so. Number seven, we're going to continue to encourage people to mix outside rather than inside. So coffee time will remain outside in the garden and the car park and in the park. So that's what church is going to feel like from Sunday the 25th. We're excited that these changes will help church to feel more and more like it used to before COVID. Um, But at the same time, we recognise this gradual approach will help to keep us safe. What about kids work through August? Well, we're going to continue with our kids work. We've got a special group that we've set up to run throughout August for toddlers through to reception. Um, Year one children will stay in with us. We'd ask you that you keep booking in your kids if you want to use that group. But again, there's a little bit of flexibility. And if you want to just turn up, Um, there'll be spaces. We hope that all our treasure hunters groups, the normal treasure hunters groups, will be back up and running again by September. What about other midweek meetings during August? Well, our prayer meetings are going to stay on Zoom throughout August with the hope that we'll get our prayer meeting back together in person um, in September. What about everything else that happens? Well, the teams are starting to plan and get ready for September with the hope that we'll be able to get everything running again Um, back in September. If you've got any questions or concerns, please do make contact with the church or you need clarification and we'd love to help you.